Okay, so uh, if we if we do it this way, if I add another card items, I think let's let's just fix the uh this one first. So the price would be actually we have to uh multiply with uh, with the quantity. So would be item dot quantity. But okay, let's see how it looks this time. So. Uh, let's see if the total is okay this time, right? So <laughs> let's do the calculation again. So 45 into 4, that is 180, uh, 1500 into 10. No, uh, isn't adding up so. Okay. So now what we have to do is I think we have to clear the state first uh, before setting up anything. So at the top, I'll say set total zero. And then won't be any comma. Uh, set subtotal that is zero two. And set tax. That should be zero two. Okay. Uh, now let's check. Okay, now it is working. See, uh, one hundred plus uh, one eighty, right? Okay, so now it is working. Uh, so what happens if we add another another product? So let's go back and add this one too. So uh, it is uh, 720, so we would add 3, uh, let's do 3 and add to cart. Okay, so I go, uh, yeah, I think, I think the subtotal is working, uh, but we do not want to render it like this. Uh, so what we can do is, we'll do a span and then render it here and we'll Say class name should be flex justify between. Okay, let's see. Okay, that looks good. Uh, do we have a text primary? Let's see. No, we don't. Uh, let's let's make that. Uh, let's go to utils.css and let's go, where is it? Okay, text gray. Primary, right? Color should be primary color. Text primary. Okay, and then uh, I'll add a dollar sign for that, and I'll add a divider after that from Andy. Then, okay, uh, we have subtotal now. Uh, we can just copy this one, and instead of subtotal, let's do tax. Okay. And also the divider. And after that, we'll do the total. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we have the subtotal, we have our tags and our total. Now we'll just add a checkout button here. Last name should be primary button checkout. Okay. And uh, instead of primary button, I think I'll uh, okay. Let's just keep the primary button and add on to that. Let's do checkout button.
It would be hundred percent. Okay. I think the dividers have uh, too much too much margin. So let's just reduce the margin there. So we'll do style. Margin ten pixel by zero. Okay, that looks better. And then uh, I'll give the checkout button some uh, margin. Margin top, maybe 30 pixel. Yeah, 30 pixel. And the text size, let's increase the text size. So, <clears throat> sorry, not text size, font size. Let's do 20 pixel. Okay, that is okay. So we have our subtotal, we have our tags, and uh, did we add it to our total? 40 and we have 34. Okay, so our calculation is okay. And let's see if we remove something, the calculation works properly. Okay. Uh, our total isn't working properly. So, uh, for that, what I will do is um, I can take another use effect actually. Let's take another use effect and let's take the subtotal and tax as a dependency. So I think the uh, but before even the state is updated, the, the total is set. So that's why maybe we are not seeing the updated value. So instead of setting it up here, I will I'll set the total in here. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, if we remove that and let's add again. Okay, I think that's working well. Okay, let's test it out more. Uh, we'll add another item. Let's increase the quantity. Okay, okay, I think it is good. Let's uh, remove on. Yeah, I think this time it is good. Okay, so that is that is basically our card functionality. And after that, we can just uh, go to checkout, uh, and and the user can do whatever they want. Uh, we also have to add the uh, increase button, uh, like the uh, add to cart button, like uh, you can add the uh, increase quantity and decrease quantity. I think that is uh, very easy to do. You just have to um, add another <clears throat> uh, another like action here that uh, update card update item quantity. So then based on the based on the action, you can add the quantity or remove the quantity like like I uh, showed you in in the count example like we are incrementing count and decrementing count I think I will I will I will leave this one for you so you can you can practice whenever you are doing this project so yeah that's uh, that's all for today thank you everyone for joining.